So some of you may still have vocal line instead of revoice, which is the older, cheaper version of their software, which does relatively the same thing uh, as far as time alignment, and a lot of people still use it as their go-to, so I want to show you that as well. It's a very simple plugin. All you have to do is go up to your audio suite, go to vocal line project, and it works pretty much the same way as revoice. You select your lead uh, as your guide, hit capture, and then we'll select our dub and hit capture. Down here we have our settings which tell vocal line how much it's allowed to expand or contract the performance. So if you have a performance that has a note that's drastically shorter than the lead like this or drastically longer like the lead like this and the normal flexibility mode isn't getting you quite the result that you want you may want to try the low or maximum compression or the high flexibility maximum expansion modes. So for this, for this double of the lead, it looks like we're pretty close already. So we'll just keep it on normal mode and then hit spot. Let's listen to that. Mad the cards would fall lost in the dark. You can see like auto-tune and revoice, it appends this VA proj uh, file name so that we know what we've aligned and what we haven't. So we're gonna go to this next track here and it looks like the, uh, the last note is kind of short. So let me play it back for you and we'll show you what it sounds like without the time editing. Not the cards would fall lost in the dark. So that's pretty rough in terms of timing. Now let's go ahead and select our first one, hit guide and then we'll hit dub and capture. Now, if we hit spot now, it looks like vocal line hasn't really expanded this last note as far as we want. So this is where the options come in. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and let's change it to maximum expansion. You can see the guideline here has changed so that the vocal will be stretched to the entire length rather than just part of it. So now we hit spot again, and this should sound much better. Not the cards would fall lost in the dark. Great. All right. Next, I'm going to show you the opposite scenario. This note is a little bit long, so if we um, scan that in on normal settings, looks like the guideline is not going to match up with our lead. But if we set it to maximum compression, it looks like even low flexibility doesn't quite do it. So if we go to maximum compression, that looks like it's going to work. We hit spot. Okay. Now let's listen to this with our lead. Not the cards would fall lost in the dark. Good. Now let's just go to the default setting and let's finish up with these other two takes. We're not even going to preview it. Just scan it in and print it and then we'll check later. Let's capture this, hit spot, and then let's listen to all of them together. Not the cards would fall lost in the dark. Pretty amazing. We went from a in tune but not time aligned performance to a in tune and time aligned performance very quickly. So if you're strapped for cash and you still want this kind of editing and you need to knock out a lot of vocal edits quickly, I would recommend looking into Vocal Line.